There was a huge solar storm in 1859. It's so, so large that uh, it was almost visible by naked eye. And in 1989, there was a big storm which wiped out uh, the complete northern electric power transmission grid in Canada. Canada was out of power for uh, almost three days. The activity of the sun by this uh, huge explosions called solar storms uh, uh, as I said, affects uh, our satellites, uh, air traffic on polar routes, telecommunication systems. So uh, uh, there is a huge industry in, in trying to understand uh, uh, how we can develop forecasting capabilities. For the past 10 years, the sun was worryingly quiet. Even that can severely disrupt Earth's climate. Scientists couldn't predict the sun's violent and silent faces. But Dr. Dibyendu Nandi found a way. Super hot currents of plasma ripple on the sun's surface and inside it, driven by chemical reactions and magnetic fields. Dibyendu's theories and computer simulations warn when those forces build up unbearably to trigger an explosion. Dibyendu is now gearing up for Aditya, India's satellite to be launched in 2014. Aditya's uh, goal is to study this very solar storms which affects our space-based technologies. I'm confident that, uh, uh, that the simulations will help us in, in addressing the science of Aditya. NASA making headlines on exotic phenomena like solar flares isn't unusual. But an Indian scientist spearheading that breakthrough certainly is. Soon after the Chandrayaan moon mission, here's another happy example of Indian science rising to a whole new level. With Jermon Joseph in New Delhi, in Mohanpur, Nodia, Shogotam Gopathai.